Concussions are a big concern for football players, especially younger players, and the NFL concussion case has some research facilities working on early warning devices. Dr. Robert Renneker is the director of the Texas Biomedical Device Center, and they think they've come up with something there that could help make uh, make it safer for folks who play football. Hey, Dr. Renneker, thanks for coming on. Am I pronouncing it correctly, the ex- accelerometer? Is that right, sir? Right, the accelerometer is one of the devices we're using to measure how fast the head stops following a hit. Okay, so you guys are working on it. What is, how does it exactly perform? It's a complicated little device, but it's a little microchip that measures. Uh, it, say you're driving in the car and you hit the brakes really hard and your, your body continues to move forward. It, there's a sensor in there that measures that. Okay, uh, where, does it, where is it worn? We, uh, we put it on a little patch behind the, the athlete's ear so that uh, we can actually measure changes in acceleration of their head. Mm-hmm. So it's in the helmet. It's, in not, it's not on the helmet. It's on the ear proper like someone would wear a hearing aid, something like that, right? Right, so that cheerleaders or soccer players or some, you know, unhelmeted athletes can wear the device also. And you've tested it. What are some of the results showing? Yeah, so the device works, and, and we've done testing on Bench and other things, and there's a couple other products out there. Nike has a product that does something similar to our device. And what they show is we can actually measure these forces. We have another device that goes with this that ch- measures changes in how the brain is working, and that's really the critical bit that we're adding to the science is we can actually tell you if a hit is going to change how your brain's functioning. Are you, are you responding slower? Um, are there changes that we can actually measure with those hits? Any kinks uh, to be worked out? Do you think you have this down down pat? So, yeah, so what we've done is we've taken five pieces of equipment that you, if you go to an neuro, opto-neurologist, uh, we've taken those and we're combining those into a single headset. And so they all work individually, and we can see correlations between brain injuries and these measures that we're taking. What we're trying to do is get them on the field so that as kids are hit, their, their parents or the doctors can make decisions about pulling them out of the game. Because we think, you know, if, if you get hit and your brain swells a little bit, it's, you're much more likely to have a, a severe brain injury if you get hit again. But there's no way to really detect that. And so our system is, is designed to help these kids and athletes empower them to, to say, hey, I, I can actually measure a change in my, my brain's function, and I probably need to come out because I'm probably more likely to be injured in the future. Doc, is a device like this expensive? It sounds pretty technically advanced. Is it expensive? Well, it turns out we're working with Texas Instruments to build these devices, and so the accelerometer that you put on that you put on the patch on the back of the ears, really cheap. We're trying to make those so that kids can pick them up for about twenty-five dollars, so the parents can can grab these, and, and it's not you know onerous for the kids to purchase these things. The goggles, you only really need one pair of those per team for a, say a Pop Warner team or a high school team, because you're, people are not getting knocked out or having massive uh, injuries on a regular basis necessarily. So, you know, the, what what happens is the kids would go in the locker room before the game, everybody would do the quick test. And then on the field, when, when somebody's hit and the accelerometer says, hey, you were hit pretty hard, they'd come over to the sidelines, they'd put the goggles on and do the test. And then if, if the test says, hey, you're slower, you, you've got an, an issue, then the coaches and, and the team doctor can make a decision whether or not that player should stay out and how long the player should stay out. Hey, bang for the buck, considering the results and what you can do for 25 bucks, I think it'd be a pretty easy sell at these schools. Right, and you know, as a as a university, our goal is to improve the quality of life of, of all North Texans and, and all Americans. And, and the goal here is is to make devices that we can we can give out and we can and help protect these kids from from these injuries and, and maybe prevent future chronic brain injuries that might prevent them from excelling in other things once they get out of sports. Good luck with that, sir. Thanks, Dr. Robert Renneker with the uh, Texas Biomedical Device Center. They've come up with a device that could guard against football-related injuries. And again, for what the thing does and for what the thing costs, I think it's got to be a pretty easy sell.